Hello and welcome to the Airbrush Show from Scale War Machines. We make it our business to review the best airbrush products out there. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. What about if you're on the road and you want to do some airbrushing? Well, here's an option. It's the Neo Air compressor. It's a little electric unit, very compact. And it operates with a simple button. It's attached by pressing the rubber hose onto this protruding pipe here. It's got a holder there. Obviously most modelers will use a bigger compressor. But there are times where having something as transportable as this comes in useful. And we're going to try it out. Operation of the compressor revolves around this button here. And depending on the number of times you press it, you get different modes. The first button press will create a medium intensity airflow. The next one creates a high intensity airflow. And the final one creates the most low pressure airflow. As you can see, there's a different color mode for each. And the final click turns it off. We're going to use it to paint this little Nuts Planet figure. We've got some primer here. And we've connected it up to an Iwata HPCH airbrush. Let's see how it handles. We've just turned everything off so you can hear what we're saying, but it's spraying really well. It's surprisingly effective. For such a tiny unit, the coverage is good, and we never felt that we were lacking power. It's just a case of just going a bit slowly, and it works well. So we'll just run it without the extractor for a moment, just so you can hear the different modes and see the effect of the paint. First off, we'll start with the medium. You can clearly hear it toiling away, but it does seem to keep up. Let's go up a gear. It's clearly noisier. Sort of like a, a little motorbike whirring away. This is the slower speed. In the higher mode it's definitely noisier, but it does seem to cope well. It certainly kept the paint flowing, and this little figure is nicely covered. Now we're using quite an expensive airbrush, and it works perfectly well. We're going to turn on the extractor and finish off this figure. And we'll probably use our favourite setting, which is the first one, the medium flow, which seems to give the best coverage. We have to admit we are pretty cynical that this tiny little unit would be up to the task of airbrushing. But we've got to say it's performed really well. Here's the proof. Our little figure has a good even coating. The paint's still drying. So for basic airbrushing, really, if you're on the road, going to a show, maybe to a model club, something like that, it's really good. At no point using this did we sort of struggle for airflow or paint flow. But all in all, a handy product with an Iwata adapter designed for the Neo range, which is a sort of entry level product. But the result is very good. In an ideal world, you're going to have a much more sturdy and heavy duty compressor with a tank. 
But if you can't afford it, or if you're constantly working in a very small hobby environment, maybe you've only got a tiny bit of space to do your modeling, this is great. That's the Neo Air Electrical Compressor by Iwata Neo. A handy little unit, very portable and compact. We tested it out using acrylic primer and it coped very well. There's details of the pricing and where you can get this in the description. The Neo Air Compressor available now. Thanks for watching this review and bye. That's all from the Airbrush Show. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to Scale War Machines, the home of model making videos, articles and archive films. Bye.